So many of us have used ChatGPT and this is because this is such a powerful tool to do so many different things. Now, while you're using ChatGPT, you might be wondering, is it possible to actually build a stock screener that works with ChatGPT? Now, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Full disclosure, right as of this moment, it is not possible to build a ChatGPT screener right within ChatGPT itself, but if you combine the capabilities of ChatGPT as well as Excel, you're gonna be able to build a really powerful screener that you will see how in this video. Okay, so at the end of the video, by following the different steps, what you're gonna be able to do is this. You're gonna be able to select a list of company tickers just like this, and this could be a lot longer this is just a simple example and then you're gonna be able to highlight this right here select the parameters you're gonna uh, want to get and I'm gonna explain how everything works uh, in the later part of the video click on get data and as you will see everything will automatically populate and you're gonna be able to see all of the data right here and from there you can of course apply any filters to the data so that way you can sort by P ratio by price etc okay so the step number one one to get in this chat GPT stock screener to work is first to be able to get the stock tickers that you want to analyze in the first place so for that what you can do is just simply type into chat GPT the types of companies that you're looking to analyze so in this case I'm gonna say show me the Yahoo Finance ticker for all SaaS public companies and the reason why I'm asking for this information specifically is because in order for this to work, you need to use the Yahoo Finance ticker system. So that way you can get the data automatically. Now, if you have other ways of getting the data, then it's a completely different story, but this is what I highly recommend. So in this case, you can see right here that uh, it says this nonsense right here, but you don't really have to pay much attention to it. You can also try this using the ChatGPT version that has access to Bing in order for it to browse the web and return the results and right now you can see that I'm using GPT-4 but this should just work as well on GPT-3 as well so as you can see right now this is gonna list all the different companies and of course if you're looking to analyze other industries you can also just modify the prompt to suit that and then after it returns all of the different tickers right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask it to simply return the ticker so now this is finished and all we need to say is show me the tickers only. Yeah, so there you go. Now we're gonna get all of the tickers right here and this is something that we can just go ahead and copy. And now we're gonna go to the spreadsheet that we have right here and we are going to delete all this information, get out of here and just paste the tickers that we want to analyze. There's other ways of getting the tickers. You can also just look for them and use Yahoo Finance for that as well. Uh, it's really up to you. In this case, because this is not a ticker itself, we're gonna just get rid of this so that way we only have the tickers. And this also works on Excel, Google Sheets, and it works for international companies as well. Now, the next step in order to build the screener is to select what data that we want to get. So in this case, we have some example parameters that you can see right here. If you go to this page which is going to be linked in the description you're going to be able to see all of the data that is offered so all you need to do is click on screener data right here and you can see the live price data that's offered you can see the stuff that's available for the income statement the cash flow key metrics growth metrics etc so you can see all this information and of course you can also just search here all this information comes directly from the financial reports and then is standardized and then from there all the different key metrics are calculated now live data uh, is very cool because it has a lower delay than the existing providers out there so you're going to be able to get more up-to-date data as well so all you need to do is just make sure that you use the right parameter name and then you're set now there's one more thing and this is very critical and that is you need to select a time period to get the data for so when you do price this is by default going to return the live price but for example information like the PE ratio you need to select what 
what you want to get. The default is the last year, but in this case, we're specifying TTM. That means the trailing 12 months based on the current price and the current EPS of the company. Same thing with the price to sales ratio. In this case, we're doing revenue LY, which stands for the latest fiscal year of data. Revenue LY minus four is the revenue from five years ago. So that way we could compare the revenue from now until five years ago. Free cash flow is LY and then total equity is LQ, which is the latest quarter. You can, of course, change this to LQ minus two and all this different information all the way until LQ minus nine. So the last 10 years, the last 10 quarters. Once you have this set up, you're going to need to get the Y Sheets extension. We have many tutorials on our channel on how this works. But the beauty of this is that if you navigate right here to the screener, what you're going to be able to do is just simply select the list of companies click right here, select the parameters that we're looking for, and then click right here. I'm going to get rid of this, click on get data. And as you can see, everything automatically updates. And then the great thing about this is that this bucket is saved. You can change the name. You can also see what tickers and what parameters are being pulled up. And at any moment, you can just press refresh right here. And as you can see, the price data will update. Now, one of my favorite things about this type of screener is that super flexible. You can apply any types of charts or Excel functionality. And one of my favorites actually is to use data filters. So if you select the data, click on sort and filter, you're going to be able to filter the information. So let me just expand this real quick so you can see the information better. There we go. So now we could be like, you know what? I want to see the companies by the lowest P ratio first. And this is going to show you that by the highest P ratio, by the highest or lowest price to sales ratio, etc. And the great thing about this is that regardless of the filters that you apply, you're going to always be able to click the refresh live data. And you can see that the data will update automatically for you. Now you know how to build a really powerful screener with the hub of of chat GPT. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's going to allow you to take your investing game to the next level. I'll see you in the next one.